Hello, my name is Peter Ridges and I'm an Associate Professor at Eric Watt University in the Department of Actuarial Mathematics and Statistics. And today I want to talk about actuarial degree programmes, actuarial postgraduate programmes at the University. Now, the, the first one I want to talk about is the Masters in Actuarial Science. That's a one-year programme that lasts from September to August every year, and that's um, teaching programmes from September to April or May with two lots of exams in December and April, May, and then summer projects that go up to August. There's also a two-year degree programme called the MSc in Actuarial Science and Actuarial Management, and for, um, for this year, the entry is in September 21. It lasts two years, but there is a, a break in the summer of 2022, as is normal with university programmes of more than one year. There is a project right at the end, which is why it goes up until August. There's also the Diploma in Actuarial Science, which starts at, uh, in September. At the beginning, it's exactly the same as the Masters, but then there's no summer projects. And this is only for students who don't need visas. It's not possible to get a visa for such a short course, so it's only really for um, British students. Now then, most of the students who do this are doing it in order to prepare for life as an actuary, which, and the job of an actuary means typically working in life insurance or possibly pensions or general insurance. And basically it's thinking about the future and also thinking about mathematics, thinking about probabilities and about future. So money, got proper mathematics, which um, goes beyond high school. And it, it is a very highly rated job. It, it does seem to be very popular in any survey in any country. And it, it seems to be quite well paid. And insurance is uh, an, an economic good that is very highly required. It's not something that's likely to disappear. So actually, I wouldn't say we have total job security, but more than a lot of And here's just a few of the employers that our graduates tend to go to in, in, in Scotland or in the rest of the UK. Now, here's a list of the courses that students study in the first year. So for the MSc in Actuarial Science, this is everything. For the two-year programme, this is just the first year. And financial mathematics to do with compound interest and things. Life insurance mathematics is a very big thing about probabilities to do with di dying. Statistical methods is um, a fair, um, what you might call a beginning for statistics, which some students will have covered before, but we've assumed that they haven't. Financial economics is maybe not what you might expect from economics. It is a very mathematical thing to do with Black-Scholes, Ito's lemma, pricing derivatives. Risk theory is um, the mathematics of non-life insurance. Time series and data analysis is what you would think. And the two courses on the right, these are, are taught by our School of Social Sciences. E economics, you probably know what economics is. And finance and financial reporting means looking at company accounts. Now, in the second year, there's the opportunity to specialise. There's just one compulsory course. That's the first one, which is we call actuarial risk management, although it's really a way of covering the whole of the actuarial world. Also, life insurance and pensions. And for finance, there's one course on investment, one course on derivative markets. And there's also a course on machine learning. And students have to do four courses. One of those has to be the one in actuarial risk management and then three of the other five. Now, apart from getting a degree in a relevant subject, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries have professional exams and our, our degree programme is an alternative. So it's not preparing students for those exams. It's doing a degree instead of, and then the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries says, you don't need to take our exams as well. And for the first year, these are the names of the exams that you, um, you, you don't have to take because you do them here. And these are the ones for the second year programme. Now, all, all together, that adds up to um, 11 subjects out of about 14 subjects. You can check the details on the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. I won't explain it here to how the whole system works. But this is most of the, the well, I'll, I'll say this is most of the beginning. There is one um, big subject at the end where students have a choice and that's left for, usually for students who have been working for a few years and there are um, a couple of um, there's, there's one small subject CB3 that we don't do either. So 
what what this does, what this degree program does, is it provides an alternative to doing these exams while students are working. So students who do a university degree get started much faster. And the salary is obviously much higher, well, it's, it's significantly higher than would be expected if a student doesn't have an actuarial degree. Also, the Society of Actuaries in North America, we are accredited by them. They call us the Centre of Actuaries. First one in Europe so far, the only one as far as I know. And <clears throat> we're also accredited by the Royal Statistics Society in the UK. The staff, I think, are very helpful. We are, um, a, lot, a lot of us only do teaching. We don't, some of us don't do research as well, which makes us more available to students than might otherwise be the case. And most of us have worked in the actuarial world for a few years. We're, we're not career academics. We, we have a, a lot of professional experience before we came to work in universities. And we are one of um, the, the world's, um, certainly top three, maybe top one or two actuarial departments in the world. We, uh, we, we have the Actuarial Research Centre, the UK's leading research centre based here. And uh, we, we are continually looking for new ways to incorporate actuarial um, statistical software into our degree programme. We have quite close links with the financial sector in Edinburgh and elsewhere in the UK. Students from um, the MSc in Actuarial Science, they do seem to be very successful at getting jobs. It can be difficult for students from other countries to get visas in the UK, but some students do manage it, and the, the ones that don't do seem to do very well in other countries as well. So here, here are a few of the um, organisations that we're pleased to work with. We also have eight fully qualified actuaries on the staff here, and we've also got a Students Actuarial Society, which is uh, the, the leading Students Actuarial Society in the UK, I'm quite sure of that, and possibly in the whole of Here's a photo of some of them. So this is the um, so that's the committee of the society, and they run a, a conference every year, which is a, is a truly excellent co conference, and they have many meetings as well. So tend to be very highly rated in you know in ratings. So in statistics, uh, which is what we are covered by, we're the, le the um, leading one in the national student survey from 2020, leading one in Scotland, fourth in the whole of the UK. So what do you need to come to Harriet Watt? Well, in broad terms, you need a 2-1 in mathematics. That's in UK terms. In other countries, requirements tend to be an average of something like 80% in exams. Although we, we, we do recognise that different countries are different. And so we do look at different um, un, um, universities diff, um, carefully. Also, we recognise that within the UK, there's a wide variation between different universities. And so we do take that into account. But the important thing is it does have to be a mathematical degree, which includes physics, engineering, um, natural sciences. The important thing is that there should be a, lot, um, a significant amount of differentiation, integration, differential equations. It's Although actuarial science is applied in business, a business degree is not usually good enough because there's not enough mathematics. So if, if you've studied economics and um, accounting or subjects like that, then I'm afraid you would need to do quite a lot of mathematics before you could apply here. So those are the things that I've covered. And... That is all I want to say. If you do have any um, questions, then do feel free to get in touch with us and we're happy to answer your queries. So apply. So the address which you can find on our website is studywithus at heriotwatt.acu.uk. That's studywithus at hw.ac.uk. But you can find that on our website. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to hearing from you or seeing you if, if I can be of any help. Thank you. Bye now.